Hello, it's Marie. So, a while ago, I stumbled upon some molds. It was these molds, usual one with, with, with titties, good shit, and one with like killer abs. Mm, look at those abs. Mm -mm. Sexy. They're usually used to, I guess, make pretty candles. My first thought was, what if I make dumb stuff, but like sexy? Because I love me some sexy dumb stuff. I really like drawing fish, but with human feet. So my first thought was sexy Kirby. I've always wanted to draw a sexy Kirby with, 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 with. a sexy Kirby with killer abs. Really hot. Kirby with boobs. Hell yeah. Mm -mm. I got this little sphere mold. With that, I'm gonna make the head and then I'm gonna stack them together and boom. I'm gonna make it. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be sexy. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be perfect. Let's go. So let's get started. Here are the two sexy molds once again. Look at that detail. Look at those abs, those boobs. Perfect. I love them. And here's the sphere mold. I hate that word. I can't pronounce it. Here's the sphere mold for the head and all the alcohol ink and glitter that I'm gonna use. I'm actually also gonna use white alcohol ink, but I'm... well, I only decided that later, so yeah. I'm mixing up the first batch of resin and mixing together a nice pink color, mixing the pink and a little bit of white, as you can see, until I get a nice soft but still vibrant kind of pink. And then I'm mixing together lots of glitter, all different kinds of glitter that I have. Basically, I picked out every glitter that I have that, that is pink and just put it in there. And then at the same time, I'm mixing some pink UV resin with some glitter. Actually, no, it's not pink, it's clear. I'm stupid. And so what I'm doing is I'm mixing the glitter with the UV resin and then smearing it on the inside of the mold because I already know that the glitter is gonna sink so I thought maybe it would be a good idea to attach the glitter first on the outside of the mold. Or well, what's gonna be the outside. So we're gonna have some glitter and it's gonna look cool. I also cured that, but I didn't show that. Whoops. So I filled the molds up with my pink resin and then I mixed up some UV resin for the head. I did this with UV resin because I needed two heads and I only have one mold and I didn't want to wait two days, so yeah, I just used UV resin, got it done much quicker. I also had some leftover resin, so I made some more heads. Don't know what to do with them now, I guess I gotta do more figurines. Here's a very fast version of me trying to get this thing out of the mold. Pain in the ass, the mold is so hard to unmold, it's shitty. But look at that, look at that shiny abs, mm, perfect. And here's an even faster version of me trying to unmold the, the booby body. This took so long, this is sped up like eight times or something, maybe six times, I don't know. It took me a while, but look at that, it looks so cool, I love the way it looks. Yeah, mm, sexy. So then before I assemble this first version, I'm moving on to a second version. Because I thought it would also be nice to have a less transparent version, a more like pastel pink kind of version. So for this I'm mixing up the UV resin for the head and the epoxy resin for the body at the same time. And here you can see it's a really nice pastel soft milky pink. And I'm mixing some more glitter in there. Again this is gonna sink, which sucks, but well. I knew it was gonna happen and I still let it happen, so my own fault. Mixing in lots of glitter again. Lots and lots and lots of glitter. <sighs> and it's all gonna sink. Fucking dumbass. Again I'm gonna fill the molds with the resin. And it looks like strawberry milk, doesn't it? Looks good. Mmm. Mmm, tasty. And again, the head. I put the, the sphere mold in a bigger sphere mold half, just in case it isn't as tight, like the seal of the mold, so it wouldn't, you know, spill everywhere. But here it is. 
So actually for the second version it's probably not that smart to use UV resin because it's probably not cured all the way on the inside, but oh well. And here they are the next day. Look at me unmolding them again. Again, I struggled like crazy with this part. But I'm not gonna show you that. Ooh, look, it was so quick. And then I thought it would look nice to remove some of the shine to make it more matte. So I used some really fine sandpaper and just kind of sanded it off. Just that first shiny layer just to kind of buff the surface. And this is what it looks like. You can't really see much of a difference, but I'm gonna fix that later on. So I'm sanding off the bottom of the figurines too, to make them, well, stand up straight. Sanding off the, the, the dick, basically. It's not a real dick, it's kind of like, it's a hinted dick. There's something there, not much, but something. I hope I can show this on YouTube. And then, because there was this little rim around the balls. <laughs> a rim around the balls. I sanded off this rim to make these balls all flush and nice. Can't take myself seriously. And then I took some Posca pens to draw on the faces. I actually needed several tries for a few of them because Man, it's hard to draw shit on a rounded surface, and yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, it's not that hard. Kirby's eyes are pretty easy, but yeah, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. <sighs> I was too distracted by the sexiness of, of the things. That must be it. But yeah, I'm drawing faces on all of them. I started with the black of the eyes first. For all of them and then just let them dry in between before I proceeded with the next step. And once it was dry I just filled in a little circle for the, the, the blue part of the eyes and then little dots for the, the shine, the eye shine, the shiny eye thing. What's it called? The, ref the, the reflect the, the f shit. You know what I mean. That. And that's a curvy eye, done! Then I'm using a pink marker to add some cute little blushies. And for these pastel ones, I did kind of an open mouth with the pink. And then I was like, okay, that blush is a little bit crooked, and I wiped it away and added another one. I basically did that all the time, just like drawing it, being like, oh, that's crooked, and wiping it away. It was hard, okay? I tried my best. And then I'm doing the same for the more translucent, deeper pink ones. I feel like they like kind of look like jelly because they're kind of translucent and shiny. It looks, it looks cute. And for these ones, I just added a little smile with a black Posca pen. A little crooked smile, but hey. We're not judging, right? You're not judging. I hope you're not judging. I'm trying my best, I promise. Look at that, it's cute, it's cute. It's good. I like that. Looks like Kirby. Looks kind of like a balloon. And then I wasn't happy with how shiny the light pink ones were still, like I mentioned earlier. So I got out this matte top coat. It's like for gel nails or whatever, for like nail polish. And I just used that and covered the entire thing with it. And then just cured it in between. And here we go, look at that! It really looks more matte and nice. And I've repeated the same step for the booby body. And I really like that. I feel like it makes it look more realistic. I mean, it's not realistic, it's a sexy Kirby figurine. But it makes it look more like a normal human's body, because we aren't shiny unfortunately. And yeah, I repeated the same thing with the heads. And I love the way they look. Look at those. They look so soft and cute. 
can see a bit of black smudging from when I had to fix the face over and over again. And so when I was done with all of them, I sanded off this neck part of the booby bodies a bit because it wasn't straight so the head would have been kind of leaning forward and um, so I sanded it off so the head would fit on there better. The penis bodies don't actually have necks so I didn't sand anything off there. And then these little knobs that were left on the head I also sanded them off. And look at that, fits together pretty well, yeah! So then I grabbed some UV resin, put it on there, put it on the head, attached it to the body and then blasted it with UV light until it stuck. That was kind of hard because I had to hold it in place if it was cured because otherwise the head would have just rolled off. And man, my hands are unstable. I, they, were, they were shaking. The head was like wiggling around like crazy. But in the end I got it. I got it. Look at all that glitter that sunk to the bottom. How unfortunate. But then I just let them cure in there for a while until it was all good. And here they are, look at that! The booby body, the penis body, the translucent version. And the soft pink version. Look at them, they're so pretty. I love these. So pretty and so stupid. And so hot. Yeah! I'm really happy with this, this is exactly what I envisioned. I'm gonna kind of improve on the technique so, you know, there won't be so much glitter stuck at the bottom. But yeah, look at them. Look at Kirby, so sexy, so beautiful, so handsome, so perfect. Okay, okay, we are done. We made some sexy Kirbys. So here is the first version. Look at that. Isn't that sexy? Look at those boobs. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm also thinking about selling these on Etsy because I think everyone deserves to have a sexy Kirby. So here's the the abs version, the the the, the penis version, and yeah, look at that sexy Michelangelo. Who love the way they look, but the second version is my true favorite. Here is the second version. I love these. Look at that. So sexy. I would date it. I just love this. I love this. And here's the apps version, the, the penis version. It's beautiful. Oh, look at that sex god. Mm, mm, mm. It was the best thing I've ever made. Years of art school prepared me for this. It's beautiful. So here's all the Kirby's I made. I'm just gonna maybe put one in the bathroom, put one on my bedside table so I will dream of sexy Kirby. This is great. This is great. I don't know what else to say. It's great. It's perfect. Who doesn't love this? I, I love it. So yeah, okay, bye.